My name is Jose Luis Valenzuela and I'm the artistic director of the LATC, the Latino Theater Company. Uh, the Summer Conservatory, it, uh, it really was born out of a need of really uh, creating a space for young people to learn about the arts, but not only about the arts, playing, about commitment and about uh, the rigor that you need in order to be able to go into major universities around the country. Uh, my name is Sal Lopez and I teach uh, at the auditioning workshop. I also teach a movement class. Co I co-chair the movement class. And uh, basically what the importance of it is that a lot of these kids don't understand the skill of auditioning. Uh, they're pretty young and uh, though some of them have been involved in the acting profession, some are not. And it's just a way to expose them to what it's like to uh, get a piece of uh, a scene. Uh, my name is Fidel Gomez. I teach voice and speech. Uh, the importance of my course, um, I guess that all depends on what the kids get out of it. But I think that voice and speech is a very um, overlooked aspect of theater training nowadays and I think it's important that you know kids in general learn how to you know speak up and speak loudly and speak clearly so well the, I think the most important techniques that I've been focusing on are number one just connecting with the breath you know I mean that's something that you know people don't really think of that as like an aspect of voice and speech you know but connecting with your breath you know just being aware of your breath how you breathe and also um, you know diction Addiction is a big thing. I find a lot of kids are afraid to enunciate, either because it's not cool or, you know, they just haven't been forced to do it in a way, you know, but this is a, a forum for them to really learn how to breathe, number one. Number two, learn how to speak clearly, you know what I mean? And number three, really connect their ideas in their head to the words on the page. My name is Paulina Salon and I taught track A. I taught mass technique and poesia coral or choral poetry. Mm -hmm. I think that for parents it's really important that they support their kids in the arts. Um, yes, basketball, all the sports, they're great. Um, any other activities that your kids can be in, like swimming, all those things are great. They're very important. But one part of all those combinations is the arts, because with the arts, what we touch is the soul. And a lot of times, touching your soul or being able to let your soul out and express or to feel or to ask or to think in another realm, we may not get it in the other types of activities, which are just as important. We need to be balanced. We need both. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a description, but her, her feeling. Woe is me. Uh, my name is Evelina Fernandez, and my track is the playwriting track, track C. And um, my course is really important to the kids because uh, for many of them it's the first opportunity that they have to really express themselves, find their voice in, in um, their writing, tell stories that are important to them. Um, I think that the most important thing that we've discovered in our track is that there's a commonality in the issues that that they want to talk about. They want to talk about um, drugs, they want to talk about violence, they want to talk about um, peace, um, immigration, divorce, um, homosexuality. Um, so those are kind of the issues that they came out of their, the writing exercises and that they chose to deal with in uh, the play that they've written. Um, I think the most important thing that that I would like you guys to do as we start our, our writing assignments is that I really want you to open up your imagination, okay? I really want you to like go out there with whatever you can think of. It can be as what <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. If we're really seriously trying to contribute to the community and trying to make them move forward 
we have to do scholarships because, and that's what set us apart. I mean, there is a lot of great conservatories around the country. I, I, I don't assume this is, you know, yet the best it will be, but, uh, but the best thing about is that if you cannot afford it, we'll try to get you a scholarship because if you show discipline and commitment, it means you're serious about. And if you're serious about, then somebody should help you. Somebody should nurture you to do what you really want to do. And, and it's really why it's so important to us. And it's why it's so different than many of them. There isn't any reason why a sentence, I suppose, once it begins, once it has risen to the lips at all, and finds itself happily wandering through shady vows and over consonants, where ink's been spilt like rivers or like blood, flowing for the cause of some half-truth or a dogma now outmoded shouldn't go endlessly moving in grave periphrasis with phrase and linking phrase and commas falling as early as lime flowers. <laughs> Mm-hmm.